In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install, replace a kitchen faucet. Easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So today, you woke up and said, let me look at the to-do list for the house. Or maybe it's because you already went to the doctor because you keep hearing this voice that sounds like your spouse, your loved one, friend, or a family member that keeps ringing in your ear that when is that to-do list gonna end? Don't worry, here at the Static Box team, we've got your back. We know that your hearing is perfectly fine. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a kitchen faucet. Then, these are things that you might need. A wrench, plumber's tape, silicone, and maybe Watson to help you out when needed. So now, you're ready to put your body through bends and crawls that your body was not meant to do. So, let's go under the sink and turn off the shut off valves. And this ensures that we don't get water everywhere and go from a project to more things on the to-do list. And we want to do this for both valves, cold water and the hot water. Now that you learned how to turn knobs, we can go ahead to the faucet and open it to verify that all the water is out the line. Now that we've done that, a pro tip, always have a bucket and a rag under the water lines. We want to get our wrench or pliers and remove our water line from the first connection. And remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And we want to go ahead and do this for both lines. Now that the line is removed at the bottom, we want to go ahead and remove it at the top on the faucet. And remember, we want to use the same old ancient technique of left to loose and right to tight. And with this technique, creating powers unimaginable to humankind. We want to go ahead and repeat that to the other side or other line. In our case, we have a filter connection that we're going to go ahead and remove as well. We're also not placing this one back but if in your case you are, you may need an adapter for the new install. This is something that you could get at your hardware store. If you want to install an under the sink water filter, you can check out our video. We're going to leave a link on the description. Now we're going to remove the nuts that hold the faucet in place. In any of these techniques, you can use a wrench to help you out to loosen and then twist by hand. You may need to invoke inner powers you did not know you possessed. But don't worry, here at the Stata Box team, we believe in you. You might need Watson to hold the faucet, meanwhile, you turn. We want to go ahead and do this to the other side. If you have a sprayer, like ours, you want to go ahead and remove the nut for that one as well. We go ahead and get out from Batman's lair, take a breather, remain calm, and take the faucet and twist to finally remove the line that holds the sprayer then pull out the sprayer and you're gonna see how easy that is. It's putting a fight, but we think we might win. You can take this moment to clean your sink and get it ready for your new faucet. We take our gasket and plate and verify that it fits. If it doesn't, we'll be waiting here for you to go to the hardware store and come back. If it does, you want to go ahead and place it. Then you want to get your faucet assembly and insert the lines through the hole. Now that you played golf 
and made a hole in one, we can get the silicone and go ahead and place it all around the gasket. You can clean any excess now, but you're still gonna have to clean a little bit later. Now let's go back to the Batmobile. We're gonna get our mounting nut and this one is a fast connect, which you only clip on, but if you have a nut that you have to twist, you go ahead and do that. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. We pass the lines through the holes and take it to the top. We either clip or twist and now the faucet is secure. You can tell Watson to let go now. And remember, before you do the final connection, you wanna make sure that you place the faucet as you want. Looking to the right direction, having the knob to the correct side, and all this means is where you feel more comfortable having the knob, either to the left, to the right, to the front, or to the back. Here at the Static Box team, we don't judge. We love you exactly how you are. In this faucet, we have an extra step, and it is connecting the two Quick Connect connections. And this is because this one has a built-in sprayer. So this is what's gonna supply the water to the sprayer. If yours has a sprayer like this, it might also have a weight that helps the sprayer go back to its original position. You place the clip where the sign is at with the up arrow facing up. Then we take the weight and clip it on the clip. Now that we become master clippers, you can get a job at the barber shop or salon. The easiest way to do this is starting from the top and bringing the weight down to the clip. We're almost at the end now. We're gonna go ahead and connect the lines to the valves. Verify which line says hot and connect it to the hot water. Because the last thing you want on a clear sunny day is to open the cold water and smelling meat cooking without even having the grill on. We go ahead and twist. This is where plumber's tape might come in handy. You can add to the connection prior to twisting or connecting. Once we tighten by hand, we can go ahead and use some pliers to finish it off. Now that the valve is dead, we can go ahead and do the cold water. You can tell Watson now that you're gonna turn the water back on to verify for any leaks. But knowing the master that you are, everything is smooth sailing. You can go ahead and remove that one off the list. You are the king, queen, nun, both of your castle. Just don't say it out loud. If you don't wanna get overthrown on your first day, depending on your sink, you might have a hole left where the sprayer used to be. Then you might need a sink tap or hole cover. We're gonna leave a link on the description if you need one of those. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone at the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.